All right, guys, let's see if we can do another one take, uh, one take beer review here. Hold on. Let's see if we can do a one take beer review. This one, my friend Dan, my best friend Dan, got me a uh, Black Lantern Pumpkin Stout. This is uh, brewed with pumpkin and spices. It's from Wasatch Brewery. There you go. All right. And. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see what info we got on here. Let me get some more light on me. Okay. Oh, um, 6.5% alcohol by volume, 12 fluid ounces. Alone in his laboratory, one stormy night, a madman crossed an imperial stout with a pumpkin to create this Franken brew. How good is it? Well, scary good. <laughs> oh, food pairings. I have Newt. And devil's food cake. Dude, you know what? We got Halloween around the corner, and I think this is a great time to do a review on this. Um, I've had this before. I think. I think I have. No, I'm thinking of another beer. I haven't had this one before at all. Um, I've let it set out. Right now, it's about uh, maybe 45 degrees. Maybe just a little bit warmer, which is... I think perfect to drink a stout. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we got. Great smoke on it. Great smoke. Okay. Ooh, nice and black. Oh. Look at that creamy head. Tell me a man who doesn't like head like that. Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to hold it up to the light. Um, you can you can see through it barely, but uh, it's got that red and dark chocolate roasty coffee look to it. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You can smell the spices. My nose is kind of stuck. My my nose is kind of stopped up a little bit, but I can smell through through this. I got a big freaking nose. Mm -hmm. You can smell the spices, but it's not overwhelming spice. I don't like a lot of uh, a lot of uh, pumpkin beers with a lot of spices, and this is not overwhelming. Smells pretty good. I mean, uh, it's pretty mild. I don't smell any uh, hop coming through at all through the through the nose. So let's dive in, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers to the freaking jet black o' lantern, dude. Check it out. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that label. It's cool. how dark that lacing is wow interesting ooh that's yummy if you could make a creamy milk you know a creamy milk stout without the the lactose in it This is creamy without lactose at all. Oh, it's so balanced. The spices are not overwhelming. Usually when you uh, get into a, a spiced pumpkin stout, people overdo it with the spices and it just ruins the whole thing. This one has got a great uh, malt balance uh, with the spice. And um, there you can taste more chocolate notes than you can uh roasted coffee notes which is very interesting this is really good cheers guys let's see what was that again it was 6.5 percent so you know it's not imperial or anything like that but it it does have a high abv on it 
It's not sessionable at all. This is one of those uh, one of those beers that you can actually chew on for a good hour, if not more. The taste on the tongue just lingers. It is. Uh, it, it's you have to you have to taste this. If you have this in your area, please get it. Um, this is one of the best spiced pumpkin stouts that I've had. I've had a few, but, you know, I'm not a connoisseur of stouts and pumpkin spice stouts. This really turned out awesome. There's some carbonation in there. Sorry about the camera moving. I don't have a, a camera stand to hold my uh, iPhone, so... It's the one that gives me my uh, good HD uh, video, so... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the color is really dark on this thing. If you look at the... If you look at the head on this thing and the lacing on it, see how dark that is? That's, that's awesome. Cheers, guys. Chocolate. Roast notes, light roast notes, spice. Um, you know what would be good with this stuff? It's that candy that everybody hates. It's the the one that looks triangular. It's the looks like uh, you know pumpkin. It's where you can split it apart like in three pieces that you get. I remember as kids we used to. Let that stuff dry out and freaking throw it at each other. <laughs> oh my god, this is uh, awesome! If you get if you can get your uh, hands on this, get it. This is one of go. Let, uh, let me try that again. This is going to be one of my higher ratings on a stout, dude. No joke. This is no joke. This is really good stuff. Okay, I gotta do it. I, I've never rated this high before. Ever, 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 ever. So my rating scale is 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. What I do is I include the taste, aroma, and the smell. The, you know, taste, aroma, the, um, the character, the, 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 what the beer looks like, uh, packaging, all that stuff. I, I include all of that stuff. This will be the highest rating uh, beer, I think, uh, I've, uh, for this category, for, for this stout, for the pumpkin spice stout. I'm going to give this guy a 9.9. .9. This is pretty phenomenal beer. Yummy. Yummy. Cheers. I'm going to let this warm up a bit more, and then I'm going to enjoy it while I watch hockey or whatever the hell is on sports-wise. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. Remember, keep rocking, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Never stop homebrewing. Enjoy great beer, guys. Cheers. Go get this stuff. It's awesome. Cheers. Cheers.